Hey, what's happening guys and good morning to you. Take a look at this. This is the Pecron, Pecron, whatever, E300 LFP. This is one of those lithium battery powered portable power stations. And as you can see, we've got a couple of AC outlets here. We've got some USB here. We've got some uh, DC type stuff here. Screen. light and then these are our charging ports it has a built-in power supply so you can just plug in you know a basic iec computer style cable or a dc port that you could plug into a dc charger or a uh, solar panel whatever you like a little bit of information on the back side you can see we also have wireless charging for you know phones and tablets or whatever built in there very nice and whoops <laughs> always hitting the buttons on this thing if we power this up here you hear the fan come on as it just starts up and we have a very nice screen so let's take a look at some of the uh measurements on this because this is very very compact it's small it's light i like it a lot so it is about 10 inches long, 6 inches high, that's 6.5 inches deep, and it weighs about 10 pounds. Like I said, it's not super huge or heavy, but if we take a look here, so you can see we have two grounded AC outlets. Then we have our USB outlets down here. We have a uh, 18 watt, two 18 watt USB, one or twos. Then we have a hundred watt. Uh, this is probably USB C power delivery. We have a 12 volt five amp here, and a 24 volt. This is the first one of these I've ever come across that actually has a uh, a 24 volt output. So we'll take a look at that as well now the ac you can see is switched on and off here separately and then over here we have the dc shut that off and over here we have the nice little light which is you know adjustable as they all are you can see the flicker there that is the pulse width modulation of it there's your SOS mode gotta have that SOS mode right <laughs> so talking a little bit more about the specifications of this it has 288 watt hour capacity with 600 watt AC pure sine wave inverter total of nine different you know built-in outlets we have you know our ACs and our DCs there I say, okay, so we have two AC outlets, two USB-A ports, one USB-C port, and this is input and output supported. That's very nice. So you could plug this into like a 65-watt, you know, uh, GAN-type power delivery uh, wall warden. Charge it up right from here. Very nice. Two DC 50, 55, 25 ports, one car outlet. 115 watt that's up here the wireless charger compatible with virtually all devices now it says there are four separate ways we can charge this um 300 watt ac fast charge you know plugging into the port over here on the size fully charged within 80 minutes less than an hour and a half to fully recharge this thing from zero that's pretty cool with solar panels 100 watt solar panels it'll charge in three hours you can also use a car charger and again the usb c uh, is bi-directional it uses ultra safe life po4 batteries that's lithium iron phosphate sorry had a bit of a brain fart there lithium iron phosphate comes with a two-year warranty and 24 hours a day of customer support you know it's probably gonna be online customer support not like you're gonna call up Todd down there at the Percon factory and he's gonna help you out but it is available now the casing is a slick smooth hard plastic and then we have these nice soft rubbery 
corner bumpers and a nice handle here there are no visible screws or anything they're probably hidden underneath the corner bumpers or whatnot now what I like about this um, with the size and everything is this is a perfect little thing to uh, take with you on your uh, outdoor trips so I've looked at a bunch of these different types of power stations over the last couple years and I've looked at really big ones and uh, really small ones and I, I like this size a lot now when Percon reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to, to uh, review this I asked them how big it was and they told me you know 600 uh, watt th uh, 300 watt hours I'm like I don't mean that I mean what's the physical size of the unit can you compare it to something you know because I'm looking for something small and portable because I want to take it out in the field with me when I take my ham radios out and do what's called POTA parks on the air there are uh, state and national parks all over the United States and you know all over the world from you know sponsored by different entities and each one of them has a number and ham radio guys like to go out there and throw up a little wire antenna in a tree or a vertical antenna on the ground or something and uh, they call out for people there and people hunt them down yeah it's parks on the air it's a lot of fun but generally when you go there there's no electricity so you have to bring your own and I was looking for something small like I said but still powerful enough so let's power this up DC I'm gonna put in a uh, nice heavy-duty DC plug over here now this goes to a set of Dean's plugs which are you know the go-to for amateur radio stuff so I'm gonna plug in my Shegu G90 over here that's this radio up here should be able to power it up there we go so the G90 is working as you can see but as you know as well as I know you know receiving is uh, really nothing much the real question is going to be what happens when we try and transmit with it so let me find a, uh, a clear frequency here and I'll turn my power all the way up right now it's just on one watt to drive an amplifier but I'll put it all the way up on the 20 watts where it has and we're going to find out if the uh, Percon can handle it. So let's zoom down here. And we'll zoom in a little bit there. And I'm going to make sure this frequency is clear and we'll come back and give it a try. All right. <laughs> I was just about to say the frequency appears clear and then somebody starts tuning on it. Okay, off we go to find another happy frequency. But if you keep your eyes down here on this, you can see we're pulling 6 watts in receive. Is this frequency clear? WW8PR. And we're pulling about 30 watts running this thing. And since it's capable of 600 watts, there shouldn't be a problem at all, right? I mean, that's what I think. So, let's up the game a little bit. I'm going to turn off the Shagu here. And I'm going to unplug my Dean's connection there. I'm going to put in this terrifying thing. This is a just a, like a doubler, a splitter. Call it whatever you want. Let's get, okay, so my splitter goes out to two separate points. And that is going to allow us to connect in the amplifier as well. So let me get everything plugged in and I'll be right back. Okay. So now we're coming out of the radio, and from the radio, we go to that set of Dean's plugs, which splits off to those two, which now power the amplifier. Well, that didn't work, did it? Okay, I got everything powered up, as you can see, and with both of them just sitting there, no transmission. Are drawing 10 watts. If we zoom in here, you should be able to see 
on the amplifier. Whoops. Come on. There you go. 13.5 volt out. And let's see what happens. Oh, I bumped the wire. Hang on. Shoot. All right, I got my wonky wiring fixed up now. So we're back here. 10 watts being drawn. Um, both the amplifier. It's a 125 watt amplifier. Both the amplifier and the radio are on. Let's see what happens if we can transmit. Uh, but first I have to take the output on the radio back down to one watt. That's all the amplifier needs. Is this frequency in use? WW8PR. You can see it pulled 113 watts. Let's see how many amps it's pulling over here on the amplifier screen itself. Whoops. Come on. There we go. Now if you look right up there, right next to 13.5 volts, 0A, this will give us our, our uh, current draw while the amp is going. Is this frequency in use? WW8PR. So this little Percon uh, E300 is more than capable of powering a 100 watt radio out in the field. For how long, you might want to know? Well, that is a good question. So I took it out this morning. And it lasted longer than I could. Um, it's a crappy morning today. It's cold and it's rainy. I drove out to uh, Fernwood State Forest, which is a local state park. And sat in my car by the entrance and tried POTA for about an hour. None of this stuff had any trouble keeping up. The weather just uh, drove me away. So, yeah, I am super happy with this. Of course, like all modern appliances, you know, it's got an app. Why you need an app for a battery bank, I'm not really sure. But it has one and you can use it. So let's test out the AC for what I got here is my heat gun. It's annoying. It um, will power 1700 watts. So let's plug her in. We'll set this up here too so we can see both. I apologize. This is a heat gun. It is basically an industrial hair dryer. It's going to be noisy. What do you want me to say about it? All right, here we go. It's on low power. You can see we have a little indicator there, drawing 39 watts. I don't know what's going on. There we go, 39 watts. A little slow on the uptake there. All right, I'm going to increase the heat. Fifty-five watts. Then about a second or so later, you can see we get that as well. All right, level two. Oh, level two. Seventy watts. Running good. What? Yeah, I mean everything works just fine. And again, what I really like about it is just the size, the portability, and yes, it can be used as a UPS, which means you can input and output at the same time. So, you know, if you were running this in your house, say on a CPAP machine or something like that, that you didn't want the power to go out at you know at night, this will do you. And uh, let's see, what was the price on this? It wasn't very expensive. $239 from Amazon. And as of today, they got 20 of them left in stock. I'll put a link down below if you're interested. You can check it out. I like it. This is uh, probably one of my favorite ones. Comes with a uh, DC charging cable and an AC charging cable. And that's it. Everything else you got to add yourself. But, you know, you're probably going to do that anyway, right? Right? All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. 
share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. Big thanks to Percom for sending this out free of charge for our consideration. That's it. I'm out. Peace.